Can you join us in the national anthem? today. Mighty Neptune, king of all the moves on the waves. Mighty Aeolus, the guardian of the wind. And Davy Jones, the keeper of the bottom of the seas. We <laughs> offer you the thanks for the protection you have afforded this vessel in the past. We now submit that the name Lady Anna be removed from the wreckage. For further, we ask that the blessing of this vessel again with a new name. My vessel has no name. I ask that you allow me to call this vessel the Ocean Reporter. I salute you, Neptune. <laughs> Thanks for everybody for coming today. Greatly appreciate this. A very special thanks has to go out to a good friend, Steve Allen. He started a fund that brought me back on the waters and gave us a, a lot of great donations that puts us where we are today. And I want everybody to acknowledge Steve. Yeah. Yeah. He's the guy in the Oshery Porter hat. A very special thanks has to go to my good friend Bob Smith. My brother Roy, Kevin Lee, Rick Rasson is playing the music today. All the people that supplied both financially, contributed supplies, and a lot of hard work to get us here since October 26th. 
to Larry Martin Bittman, a real good friend, who has donated a great piece of artwork of the Osh Reporter in there. We're going to raffle that off at a dollar a ticket this afternoon. All the proceeds go to the Sandy Bay Yacht Club Junior Sailing Program. So you should all buy lots of tickets for the kids, please. To Ron Petoff and Story Reed for the Sandy Bay Yacht Club for making this whole thing this afternoon possible that we could all be here together. <laughs> to Rosemary and Scott, the Harbor Masters who shut the place down. I thought we were going to have a lot of visitors here today. <laughs> Eddie Zuka who gave me a lot of support and made sure we all had these really nifty jackets. <laughs> The Jack Reed, for a little while, is going to give the blessing to the vessel. Later on, Brian couldn't make it today. Brian Bones, who actually wrote a poem of the sinking of the ocean reporter. The Russ Trider and his crew for being here today. Thank you. And may all you guys spend money and buy tickets to this boat this summer. Alec Razin and the Soul Train, who's going to be playing music when we're finished. A train. A train, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and really, 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 truly, I now know what a wedding planner does. I want to thank my wife, Sandy. My daughter, Kara, and her husband, Jeff, and my granddaughter, Olivia, are up there somewhere. <laughs> Mighty Neptune, I have created a list of the people that supported me. This list should go to sea and travel to all that know. <laughs> the seven seas. This list of contributors is going to be mounted aboard the boat. It's the best thing I can say to you guys. Uh. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Retired Army Colonel, Captain of his own vessel, and Deacon Jack Reed. Ocean reporter fetched up on a ledge off of Strait Smith Island. Captain Bill Lee lost an important part of his livelihood. She was a steel vessel, but Bill had built steel plate by steel plate. But the good people of Rockport also had a significant loss. For no longer would they see that daily spectacle <laughs> of the noble vessel birthed behind the Yacht Club, and slowly, 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 <laughs> rusting away. <laughs> and so the good people of Rockport raised up to support Captain Lee in the purchase of a new ocean reporter. So therefore, I call upon <laughs> Neptune, the king of the sea gods, and Triton, the god of calm and tranquil seas, to bless this <laughs> vessel. <laughs> came down for one thing, to see you break the bottle. Yeah. It's now Sandy's turn. Yeah. Oh, you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Could I drink for you? <laughs> I didn't have time to remember. Two words. Hi, Sandy Lee. Move. Name this vessel,
Goodbye. <laughs>